At this time of national unrest, I would like to make a statement to all our members of the Exodus Christian Fellowship, as well as our readers of our website and our social media audiences. In the light of the political and social turmoil currently gripping the UK, I am reminded of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 8. Scorners set the city aflame, but wise men turn away anger. It's easy to scorn. Too easy, we've seen. Since the results of the EU referendum have been made known, there have been many hateful, divisive spirits rising up, affecting every area of our national life. We have many precious people in our own congregations who came to this country from Europe or further afield, and some have expressed fear, alarm and a sense of rejection at the Brexit vote. On behalf of all of us in the ICTHUS leadership, I wish to state categorically that we will have no part in any anti-immigration racist attitudes or expressions. We are well aware of the enormous contribution that those of you from overseas have made to our nation and of your committed prayer for us. We are truly glad to have you with us in the fellowship. We would not support anyone in government who might try to treat you in any unfavourable manner. Indeed, we would rise up in strong protest if such should occur. The following points represent our position. As believers in Jesus, we know that there are no divisions in Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 20. And we are all made in God's image. We should all identify with migrants since the word describes God's people as pilgrims and strangers on the earth. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. Many have come to these islands because of our reputation of welcoming and accepting other cultures. Let us not go back on that. Hospitality has always been a Christian virtue in the New Testament and through the ages. No man, woman or child in this country should live in fear of hostility, violence or rejection. God's kingdom advances by love. We call on the government to work for unity, peace and goodness. Finally, I urge all believers in Jesus to pray for those from other nations who have come to the UK, particularly those who worship among us and share our life, our common life in Christ. We are all one in Christ Jesus. God bless you all.